Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to another Grounded video where today we are going to be going over some of the things you definitely should not do whenever you start playing Grounded, because I will tell you, I have done some dumb things in this game, and I know some of them that you really, really should try to avoid. Step one, something you definitely should try to avoid is running out of food and water. I know it seems simple, I know that it's uh, not that important, but you guys should not run out of food and water because little things like what I just did right there, if you're out of food and water, it will not kill you, but it will bring your health down to 1 HP and say you are dumb like me and you decide Well, I don't want to use the obvious staircase. I'm going to jump off of this. You are now a hurt Okay, <laughs> very important. Make sure you guys are eating and drinking. Okay, cool The second thing I do not ever tell you guys to do what I would definitely would not suggest is jump into the water Carrying things like weed stems and stuff because all that happens is you drop it and then it's hard to get out Yes, you can put down a nice grass plank It's hard to jump on top of them But you can put down a grass plank and then use that in order to get your weed stems out of the water But like I said, just don't jump into water while you are carrying things because at the end of the day You're just gonna drop it and it's just gonna be annoying to get your stuff back the third thing I want to tell you guys not to do anymore and this comes from the latest update is say you guys are looking to make a nice grass farm right you just got all these nice grass planks and say you're like all right well that's good I got those grass planks I like that I have a grass farm here I'm gonna keep working on my base let's get rid of this grass stump to make it grow faster well guess what you just made it so your grass stump will no longer grow Back. Okay, so do not cut down the stumps of grass right now if you want it to come back. If you do that, it's gone forever. I know this because I went ahead and I've been destroying a backyard for the past like three days trying to get all of the grass in the backyard to go away by picking up grass planks and then destroying them over and over and over again trying to wipe out all of the grass in the backyard and let me tell you it is a ginormous pain in the neck. All right, let's move on to the next thing you definitely should not do. Alright guys, so this next one's kind of a no-brainer, but some people still try to do it, and I'm one of the dumb people in the game that have actually done it, but do not, I repeat, do not try to punch a ladybug to death, okay? It takes forever. Yes, you can dodge their attacks for a while and make sure that you get it, but guys, it is going to take 200 punches for you to take down a ladybug. Do not sit there and try to punch a ladybug to death. Let me tell you, it is a bad time, and it is not worth all of your effort, and odds are, especially if you don't have enough healing items, it's just gonna kill you anyway, so don't do it. But being right over here brings us to our next important thing, guys, and that is do not, I repeat, do not just run into the nice ant hill uh, without ant armor on or without a torch, because guess what? It gets very dark, and now you can't see anything, and there's all sorts of ants in here that want to eat your giblets and turn you inside out and feed you to their queen. So do not run into the ant hill without armor on, or do not run into the ant hill without a torch, because both of those things will will kill you immediately. Also, watch out for these guys, because sooner or later, they're gonna start spitting acid, and that's just bad, okay? That's just all around bad, okay? So just, just don't fight them with your hands. I think, you know, there's there's not very many bugs in this game, actually, you can fight with your hands. I would suggest you could fight a weevil with your hands. You could fight an aphid with your hands. If you had a shovel and you didn't want to destroy your shovel, you could fight a grub with your hands, because they don't really fight back. Um... You could fight uh, the mites, I guess, with your hands, or gnats, but other than that, I would avoid fighting any of the big creatures in the game with your hands, because I will tell you, I did a video of how many punches does everything in the game take to kill, and some of them, it's, it's quite an extensive list, actually. What are you doing up underneath my base, Mr. Spider? Get out from under there! I'm trying to teach these people some good lessons on things you shouldn't do, and you should not be up in my base making a ruckus and trying to get into all of my good stuff. Alright. Guys, there are so many things in this game that you shouldn't do, right? I mean, it, it, a lot of them are obvious, right? Don't run into a pile of ants and start punching them. Uh, don't throw tripwires at the ground and walk through them yourself, because you will end up getting hurt and killing yourself with tripwires. Um, don't go up and try to fight a whole uh, plague of larvae at one time, because it's just generally dangerous. 
All right, the next thing I'm gonna tell you guys that you do not want to do is do not go underneath the tree, especially if you don't have armor on. Now, right now, you guys can see that I've killed so many spiders in here that they're not spawning, but underneath this tree normally, there are two, not one, but two wolf spiders underneath this tree. And normally, they will both aggro you at the same time and they will kill you. Now, I have gone in there for wolf fang spider fangs so many times that I've killed so many wolf spiders under there that they just stop spawning under there. Broken thing in the game already been reported but guys don't go under there it's not smart just don't do it not unless you have full ladybug gear you have lots of healing items and you have lots of other like a good weapon like a mint mallet or a really good bow but if you guys really need to come under here for whatever reason or maybe you want to build a base under here or what have you whatever you want to do i am going to be making a video on the best ways to take out a wolf spider using different types of classes and different items in the game so make sure you guys subscribe for that video i really do want to bring that one to you guys that way you guys have the best tactics to take down the hardest enemy in the game harder than the bird mother harder than the regular spiders harder than the orb weavers orb weaver juniors a whole flock of larvae even a wonderful ladybug they're harder than that because of their poison but let's run on over here and we are going to talk about one other thing that you guys are going to want to avoid other than wanting to avoid falling from high spaces so you don't lose all of your health while you're trying to explain things to people sim good job all right let's run on over here Okay, guys, so this one seems uh, pretty simple as well, but this is what I will warn you guys. When the pond update releases, there is going to be all sorts of creepy crawlies inside of this pond waiting for you. Leeches or uh, uh, little trapdoor spider things. They're called uh, water breathing spiders or what have you. Tadpoles, water striders, um, diving bell spiders that's what they're called um the koi fish is going to be under here and it will aggro you and attack you and there's all sorts of bad things that can happen but as you can see right here this is what you want to avoid uh, do not run out of oxygen because you will die yes your bag will float to the surface unless you are in the underground portion where there is an underwater cave but do not die in the water because if you die in the water your bag floats to the top but with everything that is going to be coming to the water update very soon you will have to fight through the leeches you will have to fight through the diving bell spiders you'll have to fight through everything that's in the water that wants to eat your giblets and you will probably die multiple times and get very very frustrated with the game now could you just build yourself a bridge over the top of the pond and go get your water get your bag yes but who has time to do that no the thing i can say guys is just don't run out of oxygen there's there's things in the game that are here to help you Ooh, what's this all oh, random floating cookie there are things in the game that are here to help you guys be able to breathe longer underwater go kill yourself some water fleas and make some water breathing smoothies for pete's sake do not ever go out and about without having healing items because you know what like you just saw for me i died quickly and thankfully there's nothing in the pond right now but soon there will be and soon everything's gonna want to eat my giblets for breakfast and that's not gonna be fun so guys just stay out there stay up to date and the last thing i can tell you guys for things you guys should not do in grounded is do not get frustrated with the development of the game okay i know it's hard for you guys to, to hear that when you guys can't play your save when you guys paid money to play um but what i will tell you guys is grounded is still in early development i am not a developer of the game i am just a lover of this game and yes because i'm playing on pc i can still play and i know that a lot of you out there cannot play right now because of the problems with xbox but i will tell you guys don't get frustrated because there are so many cool things that i have found inside of the code that is going to be coming to the game everything that's on their trello everything that is inside of their um their timeline of how they want to build this game guys there are so many cool things coming so i'd hate for you guys to get frustrated and give up if anything Thing, i would say walk away for a week or two they're gonna do some more patching they're gonna get some more stuff updated and then come back and hop back in and keep that loving spot in your heart for grounded because at the end of the day grounded is a beloved game it is fantastic and guys if you have anything that you are trying to do anything that you guys wanted to do on your xbox gameplay and maybe you guys wanted to try it out but you just can't get in right now guys join my discord send me a message on discord join my twitter get on instagram do whatever you have to do to get a hold of me heck 
leave a comment on this video and say, man, I was trying to do this. Can you test it for me? I will do that for you guys. I plan on starting to stream weekly, even by daily um, grounded again for you guys. That way, all you guys who currently can't play can still come in, get your grounded fix, hang out and have a good time uh, doing testing out all the different things in grounded. Maybe you want to maybe build a zip line that's on top of the house that goes all the way over here to the shed. Maybe you wanted to see me try to go and build an underwater base. Whatever you guys want to see me do, make sure you guys just tell me down in the comments. I want to play this game and I want to make sure everybody here never loses their faith in the Obsidian team. It is a small team and guys, trust me, they are trying. But thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button for me to let me know if you want to see more. If you guys can, make sure you guys subscribe and turn that bell notification to all and leave me a comment down below. And as always, I will see all of you guys in the next one.